Hello everyone, welcome back to another interview. Today I'm joined by Olivier Aubin Mercier. Thank you very much for joining me. Hey, what's up? How are you? It's an absolute pleasure, mate. I just want to start, obviously, just recently before our interview, as I was preparing, I saw a promo that PFL released of today where you spoke about your and GSP's relationship. I just wanted to know, like, what he's done in the game. Did that inspire you or, you know, impact impact you to get involved and kind of want to do the sort of same sort of thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, I was doing judo before and uh, I saw him, I, actually, I saw him on, on a TV show, uh, Losing against Matthews, and when I uh, I saw him again, he was fighting for the belt again, and uh, he was uh, he was on a a really big TV show here in in Quebec, and I started following him after that, and um, I think maybe one or two years after I saw that show, I I switched uh, from uh, judo to MMA, mm-hmm. and uh, a year after uh, uh, a year or two after I think I got my first pro fight. Uh, so because of him, I, I've been fighting for eleven years now. So is he, is he? Was you was you involved in the game uh, before you heard of GSP, or was that, was that that got you down to the gym? Um, I can't remember to be honest. I I knew I was um, I know I was uh, looking at the MMA and BJJ, and I was trying to introduce my BJJ in my judo game. Uh, so I was doing some BJJ at the same time uh, that I was doing judo, but uh, not MMA. And at some point, something happened, and I, I decided to try MMA uh, for a summer. And uh, I had my first pro fight, I think, maybe one or two months after I started uh, MMA. Uh, not my pro fight, sorry, my, my first amateur fight. And uh, I did four amateur, amateur fights, and then... Um, I was going to have a, a daughter, so uh, I was like, oh, shit, I think I have to uh, to make it happen right now or just leave it there and start something else, you know? So I decided to go pro right away, and uh, it worked out. So luckily, Absolutely. it worked out a lot, yeah. Well, you made it work, so that went to plan. Uh, we're just yeah. moving on. Uh, obviously, we're just over a week out now from obviously a big fight, um, obviously a chance at a million dollars, and of course, the lightweight belt, of course, as well at, at PFL 10. How are you feeling going into the fight, kind of knowing what's on the line? Does that does that impact your feelings going into a fight at all? Yeah, it does. I mean, I really thought I was going to be okay since, uh, our, well, last fight I was saying that every fight was the same because... If I lose any fight this season, uh, I will not be in the in the final. But to be honest, to be close to the finish line like this, it's a little bit stressful, and uh, uh, it was more stressful than I thought. <laughs> yeah. And I think it's understandable, you know. I, Absolutely. I it's, uh, it's okay. But how I feel, other than that, like I mean, it's a lot of stress. But I feel ready. Uh, I never been in that shape, that kind of shape uh, in my life. And I, I did all the all the homework. I did. Uh, everything in my power to uh, to win that fight, and you know, sometimes you go into a fight and you're like, ah, oh, maybe if I had like one more month, I would have been even better. Uh, but this time is not the case. I really feel that uh, I could have fight, uh, I could have fought like two weeks uh, before, two, a month before, and I would have been awesome. Uh, I think I'm just ready right now, and uh, I'm kind of looking forward for it to be finished. To be honest, yeah. Of course, I can, I can, I can absolutely imagine that the mentality switches when you're there, when you're at the goal, you're at the finish line, like you say. And and what do you, what do you think of this matchup? Of course, Stevie Ray's on a, he's on a good run. He's coming off two, mm-hmm. or coming off a back-to-back win against Pettis. Um, it'll, it'll be on an all-time sort of high on the confidence side. Are you confident that you can stop that kind of momentum and, and kind of stop it and put it to a halt? Yeah, we are. Of course, I'm confident. It's, a, it's tough to know, you know, uh, because Stevie Ray. Like he, he truly deserved to be where he is right now, but um, he, he he got like a hard fight against Alexander Martinez uh, in this first fight in PFL. But was it because he was out of the game for so long? Uh, it could be the case, you know. And then he fought the Pettis and did two really great performance. But was it because Pettis was not there anymore, or was it because uh, Stevie Ray was? Uh, more motivated than ever. It's really tough to know. So I'm ready for anything. Uh, I'm ready for him to be really, really good. And I'm ready for him to be uh, a little bit rusty. Uh, but I do think I'm going to be the, the best of Stevie Ray uh, uh, in the final. Uh, I think he's, uh, 
I, I think you understand that you have to put everything on the line, and I understand the same. So, yeah, I think uh, the matchup is good for on my side, uh, but I think I really have to be careful with him because um, you have a lion heart, you know, he's a, he's like he, he's there to die. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm ready for that. Um, I think I'm better than him, but uh, I do think he can be really, really dangerous. Yeah, absolutely. Steve Ray is a, is a great fight. And, and weighing, in, weighing in, obviously, the fact that you say, was it because Pettis was not past it, but not the same, even though with these factors coming in, were you impressed with Steve's performances, considering, obviously, the, the, from the fact that he lost, you know, the improvements that he's made, the two, obviously, getting the finish and then, you know, winning, a, I would say, pretty comfortable decision, personally, looking back at that fight? Yeah, well, I mean, I won't lie, I, I was screaming. And uh, jumping when he got uh, the submission against uh, <laughs> Pittis. Uh, yeah, because when he won against Pittis, I was like, firstly, like, I, I really like uh, Stevie Ray, he's a, a friend of mine. Um, and uh, I, I really thought it was unfair what was happening to him in the PFL season since uh, uh, Pittis had more, uh, uh, more of a break than him. Um, and then anyone else. So I was, uh, I was thinking it was a little bit unfair, but I was so happy to see him perform how he did. And you could see this, like the first fight, I do think maybe he lost the first round. And the second fight, he was really there to win uh, that fight and to take control of the fight. And that's what he did. Uh, I think he gassed out a little bit in the third, but other than that, I think he, he, he won pretty easily the first two rounds. And he almost finished it, but it's actually in the first for the first round, maybe the second round. I'm not sure to remember. Uh, but yeah, two really good performance. Um, but like I said, it's tough to know uh, truly uh, where Pittis was at that point. Yeah, ab- absolutely. And do, and do you think you'll see? Obviously, I know you've you've. It seems that like you've got a lot of praise for Stevie Ray, and you've got a lot of love for Stevie Ray. Of course, like you say, you're friends. But do you think? Obviously, watching them fights, that you'll see a note, we'll see a noticeable difference and like a sort of a noticeable difference by eye in certain um, places in the fight, certain areas, and certain situations you get in where you'll feel like it'll be noticeably different on maybe skill level. I don't think so. Uh, I think it's going to be the same uh, uh, Stevie Ray that we saw, like a, a game, a game fighter. But uh, it's tough to uh, to improve uh, in three months. Uh, especially after <laughs> you fight three times in four months. So uh, you need a little break. Uh, you need a little bit something. And uh, it's going to be really hard uh, like to Im- improve that much. And with that being said, for sure, like for the conditioning, it's different because uh, I'm not in the same like condition. Uh, like My conditioning is a lot better than uh, when I was in the first fight of the season. Like every fight, I was go- getting more and more in shape. And I think this is a peak right now. I've uh, never been that much in shape. And uh, I think it's going to be the same for him. I think he's going to be ready to go. And um, But do I think it's, are we going to see a big improvement? No, I, I do not think so. Uh, that being said, it's the same for me. <laughs> of course, it's a, it's a short turnaround, but... In this in this camp, would you say there's anything that you feel more confident on, or, or has your camp just kind of gone the same as it usually does? Is there anything that you let undergo that you feel like I've not maybe obviously it's been a short turnaround, but you maybe feel like that that part of your game is really really strong now, and uh, and you feel a lot more confident in certain areas, or, or is it just the same kind of every camp that you go into and come out of? I have to be honest. I I really think my conditioning right now is really good. Uh, we did uh, some adjustment and. Uh, um, like I start taking my statistic, and we we saw like such a big difference uh, in between the beginning of the camp, even the the camp before and the camp uh, right now. And I think against Alex Martinez, I was uh, in a great shape, but right now it's it's like something really different, and uh, I feel so comfortable. Uh, and I think that's gonna be the big difference for sure. The other difference, I would say, it's um, is I have to fight the softball this time, and it's the yeah. same time, the same thing for him. So if I had to be 
if if I had to say that something was hard this terrain camp is to find another salt bar. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So so it was hard to get uh, some good salt bar in uh, in Montreal. Uh, I was able to get some, so uh, I, I'm really happy with that. But yeah, that was a big uh, the big challenge for me. Uh, but yeah, I think the the conditioning uh, we work some little secret secret technique too uh, for the of fight. Course. Uh, so yeah, I feel. Uh, I think uh, like some little tweak happened during this training camp, and uh, I think I'm really, I'm really happy with the training camp. Probably the the best training camp I had this year. Perfect. It's great to hear. I, and just want to know from from what what it would mean to you, really, if you can. Obviously, the million dollars is obviously the one that everyone's here for. That that's great as well. But you know, bringing a belt, you know, t- taking it back to Canada. You know, does that mean something to you, especially to be able to kind of be another Canadian champion uh, and have a really good shot of that at the same time achieving, you know, mm-hmm. uh, a good win, a good win bonus, if, if we say that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think if I win this belt, uh, I'm going to be part of the, uh, you know, of the big name of the of the MME scene in, in, in Canada, you know, the, the guy. I, I, I wouldn't, I can't say I'm at the same level as, as those guys, but I think uh, the same group, I would say. But like people like uh, GSP, people like Rory McDonald, uh, Pat Cote, Curtis Newton, um, all those guys. I think I'm gonna be part of that group. Uh, probably the the lower hand of that group, but still, uh, I, I would be happy to uh, to be uh, still in the same sentence as them. So uh, I think that's gonna be like a big big thing for MMA in Quebec. Um, like we didn't have any champion for a long, long time, and uh, I think the last guy that really made us feel uh, uh, a part of the MMA scene was Rory McDonald. Uh, but he was he, he was in Quebec, but um, uh, like it was hard. I think for a Quebecer, it was hard to uh, to really feel close as uh, as they were feeling close to uh, GSP since he was not speaking French. Uh, so I think for Canada, he was great. Uh, but I think I'm going to be great for Quebec if I win this fight. Absolutely. I think you've been a bit harsh on yourself as well. I wouldn't say near the lower end at all. I think you've probably been a little bit a little bit harsh on yourself on that one. <laughs> um, but also, what do you... Is there, is there one thing in particular from this that motivates you? Of course, like I say, everyone loves the money and, and things. But is there something more about the, the legacy side, the, the kind of Canadian history? Does that give you an extra motivation? Is, is that more of like a, a push? Oh yeah, I, I think that. I mean, the money is great. Uh, like, let's be honest. I think the money is really, really great. And without the money, probably the belt would feel that uh, crazy. Uh, <laughs> if there was not a million dollars, but with the million dollars come the the fame of the belt, and with the fame of the belt come everything else. Uh, so at this point, I think yeah, the money is great, but I think the the belt is better. Um, uh, I think with that belt, everything. Like it's gonna be a, a new chapter in my life. Uh, truly, it's gonna be a new chapter, and with that belt, a lot of doors gonna open for me in uh, here in in Canada, here in uh, in Quebec. Absolutely, having that belt, um, I think champions realize what comes, like you say, what comes with it. It's not just the money. It's a, not just the status. It's the 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 eyes that that get brought to you. So of course. <laughs> um, and things are important. But just lastly, I just want, before I wrap it up, I just want to ask, do you have a prediction for your fight? I know don't want to give away too much, but in your head, how, how does it play out? Do you think we're going to see a decision or, or is that not sort of, or we're going, to, we're going to see an early finish? What sort of plan, without giving too much away, do you have coming into this? Oh, uh, I, look, I'm ready for everything, but I would like a finish. I think I didn't, uh, didn't have a, a finish in PFL yet. Uh, so that would be a, a pretty good... Uh, a pretty good end of the season. Uh, so I would like a finish, that's for sure. But like I said, I'm ready for everything. And um, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Absolutely. Well, it's going to be a great fight. PFL 10, Stevie Ray, obviously, is a war. And I, I, I like to know that you guys, uh, you have quite a comfortable friendship, it seems. There's, there's no hatred going into this at all. No, of course not. <laughs> I was actually feeling bad for the the first face-off I was doing with him uh, in PFL because he just did like three really, really hard hot round with uh, Pettis and he was exhausted, bloody, and they were like, oh, can you do a, like a, 
<rire> fait fait ça, faut être un ami à avoir fucking eating pizza, you know? <rire> Like, yeah, of course, and he was like, oh my god, like, I just finished that fight, and then I have to do a face-off with you, yeah. like, <laughs> I was feeling a little bit bad, I was like, man, can you, like, just give him some air, but, I mean, uh, yeah, there was no animosity, like, um, I, I, like, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, do everything in my power to win that fight, but I, I'm gonna feel bad a little bit after uh, the fight, I think. We well, you know it's sometimes it's nice to see there's no animosity and I can imagine at the end of this be a hug, shake hands and there'll be absolute respect between these two, which is great to see. Well, obviously PFL 10, November 25th. Thank you very much for joining me, Olivia. I wish you the best of luck and I cannot wait to see you in action. Thank you, sir. I'll see you, you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye. Thank you.